Hello everyone, it's Heidi and welcome back to another Zodiac name list. Now today's list I've actually been really excited to do because it's kind of in like the Halloween-y spooky season. So today I will be sharing Scorpio inspired baby names. These names are rare, they're unique, they're whimsical, and they just have this magical feel about them. So before I get on with the list, if you guys haven't already subscribed yet, make sure you guys do so down below. Low. Some of you guys have been having troubles um, getting notifications from my videos. So right next to the subscribe button, there is a little bell there that you turn on notifications. So click that and let me know if that works. And then make sure you guys go check me out over on Instagram as well. And if you need more baby name inspo, go check out my blog, babynamesunday.com. And I did just upload a blog a few days ago. Now I'm going to go over some of the personality traits of a Scorpio, like I do in all of my zodiac name list so if you do want to skip ahead and go straight to the names here is the time to do so right here now a little bit of info about Scorpios so they are born between October 23rd and November 21st they're represented by the scorpion but a few other animals they are actually represented by is the serpent or snake an eagle or the phoenix the personality traits that drive a Scorpio are power, intuition, alertness, and passion. Now, Scorpios carry a very mysterious persona about them. Maybe it's because they fall in those fall months and those dark times of kind of Halloween, but they have this interesting kind of omen about them, but they're very secretive, they're profound thinkers, and are very private. But they make some of the most greatest friends. Scorpios are a water sign and their ruling planet is Pluto, which I thought was super cool. And a few lucky gemstones for them. So if you're born in October, the lucky gemstone is Opal. And if you are born in November, the lucky gemstone is Topaz. So those are two great name options there. Then lastly, a few gorgeous flower names for your little Scorpio girl is the name Orchid. Lily or Chrysanthi instead of Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthi. Now diving into some of my baby name ideas for a Scorpio. First off, we're going to start off with a really cool goddess name. So I have the name Artemis. Spell A-R-T-E-M-I-S. Artemis. Now Artemis is the Greek goddess of hunt the wilderness wild animals, the moon, and chastity. Like I've said it before, this was one of our top contenders for girls' names. Unfortunately, we know one in real life, so that kind of made it unusable for us. But loving this one for your little girl, but it has been rising on the boy side as well. On the boy side, I have the name Zale, spelled Z-A-L-E, Zale. Now this one is also Greek originated, but meaning power of the sea or sea strength. This one's in the 10,000 thousands, which I'm very surprised. It's kind of been sitting at the same spot um, since last year as well. But I love this as a really cool Z name for a boy. Reminds me of Kale, but what a powerful meaning with those water elements behind it. Next name here on the girl's side would make an absolute lovely sibling name to Artemis. I have the name Tallulah. So T-A-L-L-U-L-A-H, Tallulah. This is so sweet. I actually met recently in the summertime a little girl named Tallulah and she was absolutely the sweetest so it made me love the name even more. It's both Irish and Choctaw which I hope I'm pronouncing it right meaning leaping water and lady of abundance. This would actually work for a great sibling name, very powerful sibling name for Zale as well. You have Zale and Tallulah or two little girls Artemis and Tallulah. We have a number name here next and that's the name Eleven. So E-L-E-V-E-N, Eleven. This one is definitely inspired by Stranger Things as one of the characters. And I feel like during this time, you know, has that sci-fi kind of whimsical feel to it. 11. Like how cool is that for a number name? It actually has been ranking on the girls name charts in 2021 and it did in 2020 on the boys side. I'm going a little vintage now. I think a lot of you would love this one and that's the name Osman. 
spelled O-S-M-A-N, Osman, with that nickname Ozzy, I think it totally work. This one's Arabic rooted actually, meaning son of snake. Or it's also a prince's name, so it has a little bit of a regal royalty vibe to it. And this particular prince was the founder of the Ottoman Empire. So really cool history behind this name, but it almost sounds like a surname as a first name for boys with a really cool vintage sound to it. So I have been looking for some names that can pull that Ella nickname from. So I actually have a few nicknames that you can pull from this one for the girl side, and that's the name Alaria, spelled E-L-L-A-R-I-A. -L -L -A -A. For this one, you can pull Ella or Aria. It really reminds me of Ellery, but definitely way more unique. It's in the 5,000s, and this one actually means beautiful. It was one of the characters in the Game of Thrones series, which also gives that kind of Viking whimsical feel to it, just like this whole season makes you feel. To keep along with this kind of medieval whimsical vibe, I have one of my absolute favorite all-time names, and this is the name Thor. So T-H-O-R, Thor. This name was actually on my personal baby names list since I was probably five years old. Not even joking you. This is the Norse god of strength, thunder, war, and storms. He was the son of Odin, and this makes such a great Norse mythology name for a boy. How cool is Thor? Like, I am, I don't know what made me love this name, but I think it was like, you know, superheroes way back in the day that I'm like, I love this. It's powerful for a boy, and it's actually been ranking on the girl's side. Another vintage idea here on this Scorpio names list, I have the name Tilda, so T-I-L-D-A. Hilda. This one has just as much power as Thor, and I felt like it could work as a sibling name for Thor as well, Thor and Tilda. Now, Tilda is an Estonian name derived from German, meaning battle mighty. It's derived from the name Matilda, and this 1880s name has definitely restored its charm. It can make a great vintage revival choice as it ranked in 2020, but hasn't yet ranked on the 2021 name charts. I've been speaking a lot about Scandinavian names and it's one of my favorite origins for names. This option is very trendy for the boy side and that's the name Gunner. So G-U-N-N-E-R, Gunner. I really like this one as kind of like a rough and tough edgy boy's name. Kind of has a Western feel to it. And I just want to add in that I will be doing a Western names list um, actually at the beginning of next month. So please stay tuned for that one. And Gunner is actually a Scandinavian name meaning bold warrior. It's ranking in the 300s right now. So definitely a really great option for the boy's side if you're wanting something very trendy. Moving on to our next name here. This one is so unranked on the girl's side. It's not even funny. It's very rare. So this is the name Omalani. Spelled O-M-I-L-A-N-I. Omalani. Like how stunning can you get? It's a Yoruba name meaning water is what we have. So pulling from that water symbol of a Scorpio baby, I think this is so beautiful. I've never heard of it before, and I thought a lot of you guys would love it as well. Speaking of inspo from the water element, I have a few names here that fall right into that category as well. So this is the name Fisher, spelled F-I-S-H-E-R, Fisher. This one's an occupational name, meaning fisherman. Totally makes sense. And for the boys, this one is ranking as like a new Hammer for those occupational names as those guys have been also a fan favorite of so many but it's unranked for girls and has been since 2020. On the girl side I have the name Avonlea spelled A-V-O-N-L-E-A -E Avonlea. Now this one is a place name but it means river by a field and it's also a fictional literary place name as well so super cool. It's in the 5000s and I think it has this whimsy charm to it. I have another newcomer here that I just stumbled upon a few days ago actually, and that's the name Ojore, spelled O-J-O-R-E, Ojore. Now this one's an attesto name, meaning warrior, and this name is quite rare and originated from parts of Uganda and Kenya. So a really cool African name, but I feel it's so usable. It has those sweet nicknames like OJ, Ojo, or even Jory for a boy. The next two names here are quite popular 
and lots of you guys have been loving them so I thought I'd add them as well so first off we have the name Delaney so d-e-l-a-n-e-y Delaney this one's Irish rooted meaning dark challenger such a cool meaning this one is a unisex name it's kind of a newcomer onto that kind of teeter-tottering fence there it's in the 10,000s for boys and 300s for girls another one here that's been teetering as well for boys and girls is the name Koa spelled K-O-A, Koa. And this one's Hawaiian rooted, meaning warrior. So a couple of strong names there that all parents have been loving. It's in the 3000s for girls and 400s for boys. All right, so I have a few more names here left on the list. And if you have made it this far, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And then also in the comments below, let me know what your favorite name is so far on the list. I know there's a lot of new names on this one, so I am very interested to see what your favorites are. And if you are a Scorpio or a Scorpio baby, write your name in the comments below. Let's see if your name is Scorpio inspired in some way. So we have the name Tynan on the boy side, T-Y-N-A-N, Tynan. This is Irish rooted, meaning dark. So I think it has this kind of mysterious feel about them, just like a Scorpio boy. This one was ranked in 2020, but now is completely unranked. And it also ranked for the girl side back in 2011. I thought that was kind of cool, Tynan, nicknamed Ty for your little boy or girl. On the girl side, I have the name Zuza, so Z-U-Z-A, Zuza. I think this one has to be my favorite on the list. I think it's super cool with the Zs. You guys know I love those names. It's Slavic originated, meaning graceful lily. So I love how it incorporates the lily, which is a symbol of a Scorpio baby. And I have to give this this deserves a clap because it is the very first time that it's hitting those girl name charts in the 13,216. So definitely still uncommon and rare, but hello, Zuza, new Z name for your name list. I'm so excited, like seriously so excited. I would totally use that one actually. Hmm, Davian, let me know in the comments below if you would use this name, <laughs> Zuza. Anyways, last two names on the list here. I have the name Malin, M-A-L-L-O-N, Malin. This one is English rooted, meaning little strong warrior. I think that is super sweet for an unranked rainbow baby name, Malin. Like so cool, it kind of reminds me of Maddox, you know what I mean? Has that kind of vibe to it, or even Dylan, Malin. Then lastly, I think this would work as a great Malin sibling girl's name. So this is the name Callista. So it's C-A-L-L-I-S-T-A, Callista. Callista and Malin. What do you guys think with those double L's? Now this is a gorgeous mythological Arcadian name meaning most beautiful. And Scorpios themselves, Scorpio women, are known to be gorgeous. They have this kind of goddess-like feel to them. And a super cool thing about Callista, not just the nickname, names like Kali or Kala. It actually, in mythology, she's the one who transformed into a she-bear. I love that background, that power and strength behind, you know, the symbolism of a bear. And I think that's really cool to have that um, behind a little girl. Beautiful on the outside, but very strong-hearted on the inside. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Zodiac Nameless. I have two more of these Zodiac Nameless, and then I'm moving on to a completely different series. So if you have any video topics that you'd like me to cover, baby names list, please leave those in the comments below. Be sure to leave in the comments below what your favorite name was from today's list. And if you are a Scorpio baby, happy birthday or happy belated birthday. Leave that in the comments below as well. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday and the rest of your week. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. Bye.